Good morning, Sunshine House. Here is ELA for the day. Uh, today is Thursday, September 17th. Um, the ELA learning target today, today I want to teach you how to use a virtual notebook. So by the end of today, um, your learning target is I can use a virtual notebook to enter my goals and keep track of the books I read. I can share my thinking in my notebook. So I want to show you today, this one's a doozer, um, but we're going to do our best and we're going to spend a lot of time just practicing on how we can enter our thinking. Um, today, you will go to our ELA classroom. Of course, go to classwork to find all of our important information. In the assignment tab, that's where you will find the virtual notebook. Okay, so I'm going to click on the notebook. Everyone has their own copy. And what it is, is it, it's a cool notebook that has a lot of formatting done for you already. And all you have to do is find the text boxes. So you'll notice on the cover page, there's a, it says click to add text box. So if you wanted to um, add your name to it, you could. If you want to add your grade to it, you could. You can also play around with your text features to make it bigger. You can go to centering it. Um, you can change uh, the color of the text. You can do lots of different things in your virtual notebook because it's yours. Some pages don't have places that you can click on. I can click all I want, but I can't go anywhere. This is the table of contents in the notebook. So you know that green in the first section is goals, then reading log in blue, jots, sell it, and anchor charts in red. So if I wanted to go through each slide page, I'm going to look at, well, how do I keep track of my goals? Oh, look, click to add text. What are my reading goals for the first six weeks? I chose this reading goal because who can help me achieve my goal? Wow. So we're going to start thinking about what are our goals because we've been looking at ourselves as a reader, um, kind of the history, that timeline. And so now we're going to look back at ourselves and think, well, what is it that I really struggle with? So what are my reading goals for the first six weeks? Um, goals then continue on the next page. What do I need to do to meet these goals? How can my community help me reach these goals? And reflect at the end of six weeks, did I reach these goals? So today, I only want you to explore the notebook, maybe start entering some of your goals and who's going to help you, how that's going to be accomplished. But please know there is not a due date because this is going to be a work in progress. We will enter goals and we will revise goals. We'll look at them, we'll change them, and we'll expand. So for those of you out there who like to get things done within five minutes of me sending this out to you, this is not the goal to fill it all up in one day. This is going to take multiple weeks. Okay, so hear me now. It is not due tomorrow. If I keep looking through, I have a reflection of goals page. Here's my reading log. So again, if I click on here, I can look at the example given for me. I'm going to enter the date, the title of the book that I'm currently reading. If there's a book that I just finished reading, I could enter that. Or maybe in one sitting, you are reading, you finish a book and pick up a new book. That might be something that you enter in the reading log. How many pages or how many minutes did you read? So in one sitting, after you read for the day, you're going to enter in the log sheet. And then you have three pages, I believe, of the log sheet. And then the jot section. 
So if you wanted to start keeping track of what you are thinking, predictions, wondering, connections that you're making, certainly feel free to add text. So you're going to click in that box. Oh, and then you can go ahead and put the title of your book and the date. And what are you thinking? Okay. Not necessary today. Today is only to explore. So you have three pages of jots. The sell it section. Um, this is where you can sell your book. Oh, I love this book. It was the best book I ever read. Hey, find an image of your book cover. Upload it onto this page. Tell us why we should read this book. Okay, so a couple pages of sell it. Three. And the last page will be our anchor charts. Um, and the anchor chart is basically for you to go back and say, well, what do you mean goals? Hashtag goals. My goal is to read 15 pages in 20 minutes or three fourths of a page in one minute. That would be um, an example of a goal that you could pick. And if you needed to refer back to the anchor chart, it's on the last page of this notebook. Strategies for choosing just right books. Some of you talked to me and said, I just can't find a book that I love. Okay, so that the strategies are there for you in the notebook. Thoughts, uh, thought prop prompts for discussing and writing. Um, if you don't know what to say to type in your jot or you don't know what to say to me when I come around to conference with you, these are prompts that you can steal and use. So you type in, I think the character is, or for example, this is important because, okay, so you get the idea. But if you don't, we're going to work on it, okay? So the notebook today, um, again, the biggest thing would probably be to start looking at your goals and then maybe try to enter on the page six, slide six, um, your, uh, your book or the article that you're reading for today. So in classwork, that's under assignments, the virtual notebook. Um, but, and I need to move my daily lesson, but I didn't post it yet, but my daily lesson will have my Bitmoji classroom again. So that if you need to place a hold on a library book or you need to go um, to the WMS library link so that you can find an ebook or an audio book, um, those do count for your reading log in your virtual notebook. So make sure you visit that or you can click on Epic. Another option is News ELA, okay? So those are your options for reading today. Don't forget to try to find a quiet reading space at your home. Um, I know sometimes it's hard, when, you, especially when you have siblings and cousins and a lot of craziness going on. Uh, it's supposed to be nice out today, so you could go outside under a tree, put a blanket out. Um, and don't forget to finish your timeline, you as a reader, um, and make sure you turn that in tomorrow. Okay, if you have questions, I'm going to go through all of this again in the Google Meet later on. Um, so I will see you then.